Hello friends, it's Kat from Yum Yakapow. It's summer here in North America, so the days are long and hot, but the nights are cold and beautiful. Recently, I started playing Pokemon Go again, and I've taken to going on poke walks in the middle of the night because it's just so gorgeous outside. And I'm legally obligated to catch them all. When you spend a lot of time hanging out with yourself, especially when the scenery around you is so peaceful, your mind tends to wander. Mine wandered to wondering what Pokemon people would look like if the cute creatures somehow found themselves to be human suddenly. I don't really have a favorite Mon, but there are some that always make me happy to catch when I come across them, so I figured why not start with one of those, just for fun. Just to draw something silly and enjoy my night, because it seemed like one where I wasn't going to sleep anyway. If you'd like to, I'm happy to have you guess which Pokemon you think I've personified here. I'm hoping it's come out obvious enough on its own, but it's okay if it hasn't, or if Pokemon just isn't your jam. I'll help narrow it down and say that it's one of the original 151 creatures from the original games. I actually haven't played a proper Pokemon game since Blue came out on Game Boy Color forever ago, so I'm less familiar with the newer ones anyway. Funnily enough, the watercolor palette I'm using here is the randomized dice roll palette I built a couple of weeks ago. It turns out that the colors in here are actually really handy, and I've been using it a lot since that challenge. I'll have a link to that video in the doobly-doo, as well as the supplies I used. Plus, I knew that specifically I wanted to layer blue stockings onto her legs over her skin to make them look sort of translucent like stockings might, and nobody glazes better than Sennelier. At least, to my knowledge, nobody does, and I wanted to use paints that I was really familiar with because this whole piece was meant to be a silly but relaxing experience. I might do more of these, I might not, but I think next time I'll use better paper than this 90 pound Canson XL watercolor paper. The paper's fine, I guess, but I'm finding more and more that the difference between fine, I guess, paper and pretty good paper can make all the difference in how enjoyable the painting process can be. Regardless, to me, this was a great night. Hanging out with Bubba at my new desk, sipping some iced tea from an adorable Kiki's Delivery Service tea set, and watching the sunrise from my window? Getting to draw a goofy Oddish lady was just the cherry on top, really. I don't really have something important to say here, or a review of some new product, or some super big impressive project to be proud of. I just wanted to share with you guys a really nice night I had, finding peace and joy in a bit of self-care, but also in just appreciating my surroundings for a bit. I hope you get a chance soon to do something that's just for you, because you want to, and because it'll make you happy. Self-care is so very, very important. If you'd enjoy some more sort of chill painting sessions like this, let me know, and maybe throw me one of those infamous like and subscribes we always hear so much about. Until I see you next time, I wish you peace, love, and radishes. Bye!